All right, take two electric boogaloo. Uh, I figured, so here's to show you what I learned for doing the Titanfall 2 speed run. Um, a lot of it was mostly a lot of hitting the books, not a lot of actual practice trying to speed run. Um, but I will show you a lot of what I have been practicing and that is a lot of the more advanced movement techniques. Um, so we're gonna start off with what's called a slide boost where you chain several slides together um, and you try to stay off the ground as much as you possibly can so that way you can um, pro so that way you can not only go faster because you accelerate faster in the air but also you can reduce the speed cap that you sort of have on the ground um, and then next I learned about a lot of different wall mechanics um, where the game usually has wall runs where you will automatically just cling to a wall and you'll be able to jump off of it um, and let me get onto a bigger wall to demonstrate it but you can only wall run onto a wall for a certain amount of time before it kicks you off like that um, and a lot of the wall techniques um, they're pretty, they're pretty cool. There's about three core ones. Um, there's what's called a wall kick where you want to jump off of the game, where you want to jump off of the wall after starting a wall run within the first fra five frames of entering it. So that's about a sixth of a second window for doing it. Um, which sounds tight but it's not super tight in execution here is one now and you gain a lot of air acceleration from doing that so those are wall kicks um, and then there are is edge boosting and end boosting respectively where if you reach the end of a wall after you fall off of the end of the wall there's a short grace period that lets you jump um, and so that's what that was um, and then end boosting is pretty much the same thing but it's what happens right after you are about to fall off of an edge. So that's edge boosting. Um, and back to slide hopping. Um, there's this mechanic. It's kind of hard for me to um, establish it or show it off here without like an input mapper. But there's this thing called aerial strafing, where it's kind of like directional input in like a Smash Brothers game. And it allows you to change your trajectory and move in a curve throughout the air, and it's super useful. And it's combined with the slide hop that I showed earlier um, to create uh, strafe hops, where it is a slide hop, but you are strafing. And uh, you need to move your cursor along very slowly, very gradually, so that way you don't lose it. Screw that car. Um, so you're trying to keep a lot of your momentum from your initial slide. So that is what it looks like. And then speed runs alternate them. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that double jump. I don't have it down completely, but basically as soon as you touch the floor, you're in the air again. And you alternate going right and left, and it's how you can go in basically as straight as a line as you can while staying um, flat on the ground. And it's really useful when there isn't a lot of geometry or walls. And it's also good for traversing when there's a lot of weird floor geometry like this here with this pipe 
so that's more or less it. And those are a lot of the fundamentals. Um, and then there's a lot of other tech that involves like lurch, lurching while strafing and whatnot. A lot of that's really advanced, not necessarily too necessary for beginners. So I personally think I'm just gonna skip learning that. I'll learn it once I have the actual, have a few actual speed runs under my belt. But yeah, that is more or less what I have learned about this game. Um, keep in mind that is in addition to regular slides, which give you a boost, and they have a short cooldown. Like you'll see after doing it, uh, it, it kind of peters out. Now um, regular wall runs, which you can alternate. And then, of course, double jumps. Uh, so yeah, that's basically all of the moved movement tech or movement techniques. If you want to say the full word, like an idiot. Um, and that has been my progress this week, aside from learning a bit of the routing uh, other than that I think we are good to go I'm gonna play